What are we doing? Oh, we're visiting Moen Mohammed. Mo Mohammed Moen pa Mohammed <laughs> Pasha. <laughs> We're going to find a Muslim, our Muslim friend. Uh, his name's Moen. Well, his name is Muhammad Moen Pasha, but uh, there's this thing that the Muslims do because they're all named Muhammad. This is not, I'm not trying to be racist. This is how Khan, Muhammad Manawar Khan, explained it to us. They're all, he's like so many, so many uh, Muslim people and Indian people are named Mohammed that they have to use another name to get like another level of, of um, individuality, I guess. And so uh, Moen is a, an employee of the gold and silver uh, empire. And the gold and silver is a, is a kiosk in our mall, where we used to work at Pretzel Maker, that sold um, just more like cheaper alternatives to jewelry, uh, you know, chains and, and, and custom-made grills <laughs> that you could take home and boil and make your own grill, um, and and um, just things that you just a cheaper jewelry. And he and Khan were in kiosks that were right in front of Pretzel Maker, and so we talked to them a lot, got to know them very well. And Moen has given us chains, uh, not RJ, he gave us chains, he gave a few of our other employee friends uh, grills and stuff like that. He fell in love with one of our employees, uh, just a girl that also worked at Pretzel Maker. He fell in love with her and bought her food all the time. Oh, yeah. And it was really awkward for her because she had to be... Uh, and he would always post about it on Facebook. Yeah. Like, yeah. he was depressed. He was really depressed by it. It was really sad. We'll put and, up some pictures if we can find them. Yeah, of, of course, his, yeah. Of his and what was really sad, what was really sad is that he had the opportunity... Now, he's not the owner of Gold and Silver. Uh, the, 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 the owner of the Gold and Silver stores is named John. He's also Indian. And he... Oh, really? Why is this like this? Oh, it's just a busy interchange, I guess. Anyway, yeah, he's also Indian. And he he worked there for a while, but he wanted to open another gold and silver in Fairborn, in the Fairfield Mall, which is about 40, about 40 minutes away. Probably not that long, about 30 or 40. I think it's like 25. Yeah. Like 20, 25. And so he took, the, he took the kiosk that was in the Upper Valley Mall and just moved the actual physical kiosk to <laughs> Fairborn. And then had, had Moen come. I don't know where Moen came from. Um, I, I don't know how he knew John, I mean. But so Moen was there, he was very nice, he was very quiet, very respectful, very nice, very hard to understand, had a very thick accent, but was very nice. He told a story about how he, he, he saved, a, he was a doctor in India. Yeah, that was and amazing. He, and he saved someone's foot by sandwiching two honey buns around it and wrapping the, it in gauze. The, the treat. He, the he, treat, he clarified yeah. us, the treat. The, the treat. The, the treat bun, honey the bun. Treat. Yeah. And um, he saved somebody's he dying saved somebody's gangrene foot. foot. Yeah. And so, the, what was really sad is that, you know, Moen didn't have a lot of friends because, I mean, how, you know, how would you, and, and you know, when you work at the mall all day. So it was the mall, we were his, we were his friends, and he, he told us that, and he um, had the opportunity to go work at a better mall, and he turned it down originally because he wanted to stay at the Upper Valley Mall where all of his friends were. Little did he know that we were all getting other jobs. And so we, very quickly after he announced that, we all one by one started leaving and getting better jobs. And so now Moen um, works in Lima, which is about two hours away, and we're going to see him. He's been he's been missing us. I, I you know I've missed him too. And so we're going to go find him on the search for Muhammad Moen Pasha. Lima Mall, everybody. Lima, I'm sorry. This is shit. It's so ugly. <laughs> Very busy, man. Very it is busy. kinda busy. Ew. Oh my god, our mall is so much nicer. Ew! Our mall is so much nicer than this. This is the oh my god. Simon. Simon. It makes sense it. though. Yeah, that makes sense. I should have parked there. I was really expecting something on the on, on the one part with uh, Polaris. Yeah. I was expecting like the Fairfield Mall at least. Drinks? 
What drink you like? Um, uh, I have a small Pepsi. Oh, sorry. I have a small Pepsi too. Oh. What's small Pepsi? What's small Pepsi? Small Pepsi. How much? Fifteen fifty four. Fifteen fifty four. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, buy our food. No. <laughs> Just I finished my lunch. I'm waiting for you. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> Thank you. So again, Merry Christmas. You can sit and eat nicely, then finish your lunch, come here, okay? Sure, okay, okay thanks. <laughs> okay, it's kind of... <laughs> we have to explain what happened. <laughs> he saw us. Invited us into the store, said, "Do not film me," and then went and bought us food. I so I, tr I tried to start filming like when we were in there, but I don't know how much I got. I didn't want. I didn't want to eat this. <laughs> he paid for it though. Yeah, he did buy our. Lunch. It does. It kind of looks good. This is not where I. I wouldn't have ever found that. I would have never went in there. In the, yeah. And he was like, "You buy." Like he he just chose this food for us. Kind of looks delicious when I'm aiming the camera at it. What did you get? This is pepper chicken and chicken with broccoli. It's weird. Okay. <laughs> we'll report back when we go back. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, it was like delicious. To something? Like to take a picture of something? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Much better than the street But the street is I was having get samples there. Right. Yeah. Right. Maybe do you talk to anybody? No. Nobody? Really? Like a piece of Yeah. Yeah. So you spend your great time here, then come back again. Yeah. You oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you there. Okay. Yes. You just spend your time. Here. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> what are we doing? Are we leaving? No. What, what's happening? Huh? What just happened? We're gonna we're we're gonna spend our fun time. Is that what he said? And then we'll go back and find it. Is is what what I was is what I understand. I thought he said come and come back again. I thought. Oh, that was like a, he was just saying like goodbye. I think that was it. I don't think so. He said I will be waiting. Come back and find me. He's like you're gonna have a good time here. What the? Meaning hell? like go shop. I know, but like this and is then, so like, bizarre. Come find me. This is pretty bizarre. It's the weirdest. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever experienced. So, <laughs> the, all the, here's everything that I think I learned. I learned that nobody. He doesn't make friends here. Yeah. Well, and he said Springfield is a hundred times better because of the connections. And that us. was cute. that's that us. Was cute. Yeah. Yeah. What else did you learn? Ooh, that stinks. Zach, that's pretty. Like we gotta walk away from this. I thought originally that he said that he was only open three days a week. But he's yeah, that's what I thought too. He's only busy week. three days out of the week. Yeah. Um, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so, so, something like that. Right. Many, many guys are coming from Springfield, but uh, you know, someone, uh, Samuel. Yeah. Uh, one lady, because she worked in uh, like green job. Yeah, oh yeah. She yeah, yeah. also came here yeah, last year. Bar? Yeah. She's here? Yeah. Really? Her daughter is living here. Where does she? I don't oh, know. she just came to visit? Or visit, oh. visit the daughter. Then she starts, then she has a very good. Yeah. Then, it's a nice mall. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very, it's very crowded. Yeah, and you get to be in front of the amazing yeah. space. For guys. Oh, there's a bouncy ball machine. Yeah. 
kids for kids then. Right. So you will, I, I take one of you guys. Press that button. Yeah. We are coming inside or not? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Let me focus it. There it is. That's a good one. It was good so, seeing you. Thank you very much for spending your great time here. Yes, it was fun. If it was, if it was, if it was like an hour closer, yeah. we might spend more time. How many? Uh, <laughs> one hour, uh, twenty minutes journey from. Yeah, it was about that. Yeah. A little longer because of the weather. Yeah, if weather is good, no problem. We can come at any time. We can go any time. Right. But weather is not good. It's very dangerous. Skating sometimes. It's long, uh, 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. There is snow falling. So I heard like this. That guy said there is snow falling. <laughs> tonight. Tonight is good. Is it supposed to snow tonight? No. Oh, that's not good. Yesterday I fixed these uh, cameras. Yesterday. Yeah, they look good. They looked good on the screen. Uh, you know, Rick, our mall Rick, technician. Yeah. He came and fixed it. Oh, that's nice. He spent uh, six hours. <laughs> Actually, I thought maybe Brian is with you. Maybe group will come. Oh, yeah. No, they were all busy today. No, I heard uh, on Facebook she said maybe she's not in Springfield. She went outside. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Brian, she given on Facebook. I'm outside. There is uh, he one picture. He morning I had seen that one picture. One lady is falling down. <laughs> yeah, I, she's a goof. I tell her take care. <laughs> what is that? This is uh, actually uh, mosquito. Ah, a mos killing mosquito. Killing mosquito. Oh, okay. I see. Um, what? <laughs> take care. You too. Be careful. Go home.